This video is about the Cauchy theorem when there is a singularity. How Cauchy theorem reacts when there is a singularity. I am making this video before the Cauchy integral formula because when I was doing my complex analysis course, I just went on from the Cauchy theorem to the Cauchy integral formula. But if I did this practice question before that, I will understand the Cauchy integral formula much better than I understood that time. So I just wanted to show you this question in which there is a question we have asked to integrate something and we will integrate it with the use of Cauchy theorem. But one thing in here, if z becomes equal to a, then our integration is not defined. So how we will tackle this? And the way we tackle that is appears in the Cauchy integral formula. The answer is really similar. So let's do it. So first, let's take a curve C. So our question is we have to evaluate this integral where C is any simple curve, closed curve and z equal to a is first outside C. That means there is no singularity inside C and second time this is inside C which is the trickier part. So let's get started. So first let's see this one in which the point A is outside our closed curve C. So let's say this is our closed curve C and this is the positive direction. Now we will say integration our first part this one along C dz by z minus A is equal to and the answer is zero right this is analytic in the inside this closed curve c so it's zero according to the cauchy integral theorem that's simple it's that simple that's why this cauchy integral theorem is very important now what happens when z equal to a is inside this curve now what we will do we will again use the Cauchy theorem and one consequence which we understood in the previous video and that is we will make another curve around this A. We will name that gamma and take its direction as positive 1. So what happens is this gamma is a circle of radius r. Let's say let's take the radius r. Now we know that now second part we are solving integration along c dz by z minus a will be equal to integration along gamma i am saying this symbol gamma i don't know what do people say this symbol i think they say gamma because it looks like the gamma function that's why we can say this anything right okay so now let's focus to our question so along gamma dz by z minus a now we have done this what we will do is this we will change this integral to a circle integral that means we will change this to a polar form i simply say polar form as circle because it deals with circles that's why but it's not right it's polar form we will say z minus a is equal to r e raised for iota theta that is the polar form of this one so z becomes equal to a plus r e raised for iota theta. Now dz is equal to iota r e raised for iota theta d theta. Now our integration will also change because we changed this to polar form from 0 to 2 pi. Now dz changes to iota r e raised for iota theta d theta divided by z which is z minus a which is r e raised for iota theta. Now these two gets cancelled and we get iota 0 to 2 pi d theta and solving this we get uh, theta and then 2 pi minus 0 which is 2 pi so we get 2 pi i and this is our answer. So you will say what's big deal about this one. The big deal is that the Cauchy integral formula uh, along a function which is like this z minus a dz is equal to 2 pi i into f z equal to a. So this is our Cauchy integral formula which we are you are going to study further. But you saw that here f z equal to a was 1. That's why we don't got any this thing. We get this. So this is how we solve Cauchy theorem problems when there is a singularity. How we solve it? We use the consequence of the Cauchy theorem which converts this curve to this curve. Then we converted this to a polar form and then solve it. 
also the proof of the Cauchy integral formula is done by the same process so if you understood this video then you will understand the further videos much better so thanks for watching this video and always remember that math is everything